hello everyone today I will show you how to connect notion and medium through make.com here is my notion database where I have my articles let's drag this sample article to the to be published column and you can see that the published status will be a draft yeah I have an image with a caption and heading with some inline styles so let's head on to the integration let's run this you can see that we have a notification. If we open this, you can see we have our draft here, the image with the caption, and we can go on and edit this story. You know, you can add the caption, you can change the image, headings, and you can publish when you're ready. You can now see that the dr this draft will appear in my stories. So let's try adding another one. Oh, this article is now in the published column, and here, if we open this, you can see that the link is right here. So let's now try to publish a more complex article. Let's move this one into the to be published column. And you can see that here we have some tags and we'll set the publish status to public. And here we have just some headings, image captions, dividers, and on the bottom there are some links. So I am switching to the integration. Let's run this. We get our notification. So here's our article. You can see if I go to my stories to published, it is here. If I look at my database, it is in the published column. And here is the link. And so let's take a look if the tags are here. And here, if I go to change tags, you can see that all of my three tags are here. Let's just check the styling quickly. So if I take a look, all the images are here. The links are here. The dividers are here and so let's get into it to get started we'll first need a notion database i'll set this to um board view let's delete all these cards and let's make three categories draft to be published and published so right here let's call this medium blog posts and let's make a sample article. And here we won't need this property. Let's add in a sample heading and paragraph. Perfect. Now we need to connect this. So I will head on to make.com and I will search for the notion watch database items module here you need to connect your database and you need to share your database with your integration and now we'll fetch this by updated time so I will search for medium now you can see I'm doing this for a third time because I forget something each time I do this and we'll connect this with the medium module. Create a post. But actually, first off, what we need to do is we need to fetch the content. So this module right here, if we run this, you can see that here is our page. And here are the values, the name, and the status. But we need to fetch the content. And to do that, we'll need to use a uh, an HTTP get request make a request and I will use an API that I've made myself um, HTTPS notion to HTML Heroku app dot com slash your database item ID now for the body type we'll use the application and for the fields You'll need a token with the value of your Notion integration token. So let's put that in here. Click OK. And let's try to put in the database item ID. So I will run this module only. Paste the database item ID. And here you can see we've got our content. 
now we will connect this with the medium module and first off we need to set up our connection so to do that head on to your medium settings integration tokens and here uh, add your token name and copy the token number paste it in here now we just need to fill in the fields so let's get the name plain text for the title content format will be HTML and the content will be data from the API and let's keep the rest like this for now and let's run this now this module didn't fetch anything because we haven't updated our article because we've selected by updated time um, so in order to get all of our crap in order to get all of our articles we need to choose where to start and choose all that will fetch all of our articles let's hit run and bam it's ready so if we copy the URL you can see we've got our content here perfect so right now what we can do well the problem right now here is if we make some updates and we run the integration it will generate a new article and a new URL you see the same article but two times so that's why I've created these three columns so if you want to publish something we'll move this to this column and if it is published it will be moved to this column right here so first of all we will need to set up a filter to only process those items that are in this column so the status name will be equal to to be published cool now to update the database item we will select the update the database item module and let's get the database ID medium by selecting our database and the database item ID is whatever was fetched in the first module cool now what we need to do is we need to change the status to published okay so that's here to improve this even further we can add a URL field Whoop. so now to fetch this new field we don't need to do anything because it's done automatically you can see it right here and we will put in the URL from the media module now if I move this here nothing should happen right it didn't get through the filter if I update it here now it didn't fetch anything because um, well because it is fetching by the last edited time and if we make the edits within one minute this field won't change so that's why right now in order to get this we'll just select all and run this and cool now you can see our article is here in the published field and we have our URL if we click it here is our content now let me show you what are the possible styles that you can use in your medium articles or what elements can you use so you can use images with captions as you can see right here you can use code blocks headings dividers and some inline styles. so you can use the code you can use links bold annotations and italics nothing else is allowed we'll move this article to the to be published in order to publish this we'll run the integration and here let's look at the URL 
and you can see here's all of our elements, our image and everything. Um, but we don't have our inline styles. In order to change that, we just need to change parameters on this API. Well, let me explain to you why is this happening. So by by default, when there is a um, style, just like here, we have an inline style. So, so the notion block has been converted to an inline style and medium doesn't like that. So we'll use a query parameter named HTML tags. We'll set it to true. And that will change the HTML inline styles into tags. Let me explain what I mean. So right now, if we run this, let me move this to, the, to be published. And let's run it. You can now see that instead of having the inline styles, we now have an HTML tags. So right now, if you open this, everything is working fine. We've got our bold annotation and ethylic. There's a quote, list, divider, and an image with a caption. So the last thing we can we could add is tags. So let's add some tags. Multi-select. And one more property that will determine the state of the article. So right now every article we we post will be public. So you can see we have five published stories. But what if I want to publish a draft for my notion? So let's say publish state. And the options for this will be draft, unlisted. That means that you can share the article with friends or whoever you want, but it won't be shown in the medium feed or public, which is the default published state. And for the tags, well, here we can use typography, automation, medium. Okay, um, going to our integration. Here, instead of the published status being public, we will set this to be Mm, and it's not here, so we'll need to fetch the new properties. So right now, our new properties are here, and so we can and we need the name. Okay, now for the tags, we'll need to do some programming parkour. Because <laughs> right now, if we run this uh, no if you run this for all you can see that the tags here the tags are an array of collection now in order to convert a collection array of collections to a simple values, we need to get the name property of each collection. To do that, we'll use the map function. So I will just quickly show you what the map function does. Um, I will use the set variable. And here I will just type in map, then the tags semicolon and a name right now if I run it let's get all all right <laughs> so if I change this to, to be published 
So here you can you see that it got converted to a simple array. That's just what we want. So let's copy this function, delete this, and under the tags, um, put in the map, and here's our function. So right now, if I throw away all these stories, And um, let me make one more change because I will put in an if function. Um, if we don't have this field, we'll put it to, to a draft by default. So if this function exists, the function's value will be assigned, and if not, we'll set it to draft. Let's hit OK. Auto align. And now. Well, let's put our medium styling article here. Let's run this. You can see it, it has been moved. If I click the URL, it is here. And it's public. If I go to edit story, and change tags you can see our tags are here so that's great let's try to copy some random article just to show you how cool this is um, I will just steal all of this mm -hmm. let's copy that random article and here I will just paste and I will set this to be a draft you don't need no tags and let's just make sure that the image captions are actually image captions And now if I put it to the to be published column and I run the integration it has been moved if I open this you can see that it looks awesome image captions We've got the bold text, we've got images, and yep, you're awesome. So, thank you so much for looking at this tutorial. If you like it, please drop a comment below. This is like the third tutorial that I'm making, so I'm really curious on what you think. Um, maybe if I'm going too slow, too fast, I have no idea.